Good morning, everybody. Are we on? Yeah, there we go. Hey, good morning. Um, today we're going to take a look at all the work that needs to be done in the uh, front yard garden. And there is a lot. Um, we're going to start at the top because the bottom is just a mess. And this is a section I actually had a chance to um, dig in some compost and some wood um, sawdust. And uh, right now, I also moved those um, three scurret, and then I've got three more in pots that need to find a good home. Um, what I've got going on in here is I just got done planting a, black, a row of black beans and another row of daikon radishes. And that should break up the clay soil a bit. The problem with this is, this section is that um, further over, this is almost solid clay, whereas <clears throat> over here by the clover, this is all um, loose. It's got lots of coffee grounds and it's had a lot of mulch over the years. So um, we really have two different uh, soil types going on here. And we're gonna see how well the beans do here. In previous years, I had potatoes in this section, which is why I think the soil is looser. Um, but doesn't that look nice? I mean, in contrast, and this is my sage bush, in contrast, the other side of the path is a mess. We've had um, purple dead nettle take over the entire area, and right now I have it composting um, in a pile in the front. Um, but this whole area needs to um, it, it's got different layers. It's got layers of coffee grounds that are really rich and it's got other layers of really, really thick, heavy clay. And I don't know which section is which yet. Um, this has been a fight to get rid of crabgrass in this area. And, um, eventually there's supposed to be a bush put in here where that pole is. That's why that pole is there. It's a marker. So we'll see how I do this year. You can see the tulips are on their way out. And then this is the mandala garden. Um, these are current bushes. The one in this, yeah, I'm going to say the one in the center. You only see one. The one on the end here is trying to walk in a different direction. Don't ask. It just decided it didn't like it there. And so it's slowly moving into the middle of my path. Um, you can see it's starting to come up right there. And that's the path. So, we'll see how that goes. Um, in front of the rhubarb here, I put in some black beans. And I dug out tons of ground ivy. I gave a lot of the guys a little more space to grow. We've got a poor little coral bell trying to come up over here in the corner. We've got strawberries in here, which eventually will become ground cover. Sparrows are having a fight in the background. And I also put in um, a couple of leftover daikon radish seeds. We'll see if they come up and where they come up. There's um, a lot of dead branches underneath here and not necessarily soil. So there's dead branches covered with coffee grounds and there's a lot of air pockets. So I'm not sure how that's going to go, but you know the seeds were on their way out anyway. So they'll either grow or they won't. This guy here is a Welsh onion. He's been lovely in lunch every day this week. And um, I just got done planting this section. We've got celery. We've got the uh, rhubarb. And in front of the rhubarb, I also put uh, regular beans, bush beans. They're purple. And we'll see if they do well here. Um, they've never been in the front before. We usually try and do flowers in the front and that hasn't been working out so well. 
So we'll put the beans in the front this time and hopefully the rhubarb won't overgrow them too badly. And the idea is to actually plant cucumbers along this back section. Don't know, it's about four feet high. We've grown them there in the past. Um, I don't see any coming up from last year's seed. So um, we're gonna have to wait and see if any actually did. We had some really old ones that were yellow that we just dug into the ground. So I don't know if those will reseed or not. Um, but I do have some growing in the house and they'll get put in here um, once the weather settles. So that's all we got going on today. Have a good one.